Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. I'm in the mood for a little bit of run back in, so we're back in Hollow Frost. We lost the last one, but today, it's gonna be different. You know, I feel like every time I say, like, today is gonna be different, I feel like I jinxed myself. But anyway, yeah, we are dealing with this set of units on the final fight. This one seems just with explode seems like a big issue goji bear should be pretty easy to deal with snow honestly willow seems like it's more beneficial for me can willow just eat no eyes in this fight that's kind of funny wait willow in that case willow could just eat willow couldn't willow just eat frost guardian like the second phase of Frost Guardian. We'll we'll save that for we'll save that for later. But anyway, yeah, we're Hollow Frosting. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Royalty gain a crown on pickup. Fragile. I guess we're back to the this this set of leaders, and. Uh, Alright, well, you know what, I do prefer that because I prefer this format of leaders because I thought these leaders were a lot more interesting. So, I'm very happy to see these guys back. It When HP is locked. So, we have not played this version of Hornet yet. Fragile. Max HP cannot be increased during battles. So, this effect say says, basically, if you have something like... This sounds... Another crown does sound pretty nice, but what does royalty mean? I don't know what royalty means, and it does not say in what it is in the description. We're gonna- wait. Okay, I'm gonna click this. We're gonna click Zote Percept number 23. Is it just gonna say error? No, not this time. Alright, cool. Alright, let me make sure I am recording. We are. Damn. Sorry. God, how long has it been? It hasn't been until, like, the previous crown, the old crown, the old, like, storm bell system that you could start a run off with a crown. Yeah, fucking, it's time for a throwback. So, fragile on your leader shouldn't be too bad. This Gogonk is annoying. We will play a Void Mask, because uh, I guess you can't use Isma's tier to heal. Which I didn't really do that too much anyway, so it it's not it's not really a factor, I don't think. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did in fact sneeze. What am I trying to do here? I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do here. Um, I want to kill this Gogong, because this Gogong is a little bit... Oh, I should Ismus here the Gogong. That would be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Because you're not healing anything. It's just three free poison. Okay, so we're killing... I can get a redraw off here and then get a double kill. We'll redraw against this against this be very although maybe i should have snowed that last hand because there is this goblin on the board and i would be losing the um yeah that actually wasn't correct i mean honestly i can just let the shade sh shade soul go i'd rather redraw to deal to deal with the shade soul than lose the goblin i think i like that i definitely do prefer that Alright, you are taking a bit of damage here, but Void Mask is here for the, for you. Actually, I could deal- couldn't I kill? I'm curious here, what if I- so this is 3, 6. This is actually lethal if I do this. If these mechanics work the way I think they, they do, it is lethal. Nice. Because of the mechanics of wound. Take damage when applied and after triggering. That's pretty cool. Clears after triggering. I did just note this that text. I wonder if there's any other I wonder if there are any other units in this in this clan that can that can do stuff like that have wound as a mechanic. 
I think that'd be pretty cool. Should I just kill a bee berry now? No. I'll hit the goblin for four, and then I'm gonna redraw this hand. Although it's it is pointless to do this because you're gonna get a free draw free draw anyway next turn. But uh, don't don't tell don't tell our pretty little hornet princess that <laughs> you are my hornet princess. See if I heal for. I'm trying to get all the money I can off this goblin, so you just redraw for snow cards. God, look at the size of these channeled nails. You know, in one of these mods, a kind of card I want to see is a card that does like permanent scaling. Uh, it, you get lethal by doing this. A card that does like permanent scaling, similar to. There's a lot of card like there's a lot of cards in Monster Train like, like little Icarus, little Fade, or Subsuming Blade, or I can't remember the unit, the name of the units. Isn't Steel Singer is the name of the unit I'm thinking of? I want to see a unit like this where it has like a weak effect, but it like scale, it can permanently scale over time. So by the end of your run, you just have this absolutely absolute unit. I think that'd be a fun idea. Did they nerf you? Ah, another fucking. When apply to. This is interesting. Apply to bleed when deployed. Summon maggot. Trigger the redraw bell. Fragile. Weird. I did mention something like wound being a neat idea, but. I don't know if I want to click Millie Bell, though, because we have already played this unit. I, I should just click this because it's good. I should. I need to remember my own rules. Ooh. Di Drya. Increased by one when hit. Ooh. I do like these kinds of units. So this is basic. Yeah, let's click this. I will admit I do not remember what this what this character is does in Hollow Knight. But this Dryad unit does look pretty interesting. Seems like a neat little update they did with this. Okay, what do I need to worry about on this board? Definitely the Definitely the Earth Berry hitting me for I might just want to um Channel nail, channel nail, channel nail. I think that's probably safe. You save the most damage. Although, I, I guess I can play Dryya this turn and then get some value. I think I'll do that instead. Yeah, that's better. Oh, wait, no, it's not better because of healing. Oops. My bad. I should get Millie Bell out here. We get an old nail redraw. Which, I mean, for the purpose of just trying to draw through this deck quickly is like technically good really wish i don't have any way of killing a unit on this board or killing two units on this board so i'll just take my redraw oh i royalty gain on pick i still don't know what this royalty means <laughs> is it just like a just kind of like a filler keyword it, it, Filler keyword? I guess, sure. Is that works for what I'm trying to say? So this, I would really like to play this kind of dry a unit for the whole run, but it does seem does seem very difficult to try to do that. Ooh, I did just let this goblin run away. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Do I want a little bit of extra money here? I should take a little bit of extra money. You have shade soul to deal with the um to deal with the earth berry. I'll redraw here. Uh, what am I? I guess I can freeze the the snowbird here. So far, our the run the run so far the so far run. Looks pretty okay. 
We don't we do got a very powerful unit in Millibel here. The thing I would like to try some of the new units because if I do if I have the ability to play something besides Millibel, I would like to take that ability. Take that chance. Now I'm not I'm not like guaranteed to find something that isn't Millie to be able to play something that isn't Millie Bell. Haha. <laughs> Get bled. Do do berries bleed? I mean, I guess they bleed like jam. Or does that make sense? I guess they just bleed like juice. Or little berry juice. Is this where pink berry juice comes from? I'll just click Mega Mimic here. I'm not I'm not gonna click on Blaze T this time. Balder Shell. Ah, oh, interesting. They did nerf King's Brand, and it is an interesting nerf. This nerf basically means you can't, you can't play. I mean, actually, I I like this. I like this balance change because it means. So we saw it last time. Last time we played King's Brand, we had like a, we had an item that, that gave it like plus five. So it applied five block which was just extremely busted this though if you give this increased stats it will also increase boost a boost to its effect it will also increase the poison and ruin the block you're applying it's still this i like this change i think that is a good change Ooh, sly i'm happy we finally get to see this unit yeah this unit looks super busted while active adds frenzy to allies in row. This unit looks super busted. It's Mr. It's Mr. Bakwatia. The initial merchant. The merchant in Dirtmouth that you find when you that you come across when you're like after you defeat False Knight, I'm pretty sure. And then you find him in like a little uh how a house in a ru ruined visit. Ruin <laughs> in a, like a ruined village, and his ass is just like when you find him, his ass is just like tweaking. I will click Sly here because Sly does sound super busted. It's literally this unit is literally just like this unit is old. Unit is just old. Um, what? Who's who? Juma, who? Who is it? Old Chrono. Chrono, but in. Eh. Chrono in his younger years. Alrighty. Another crown here and then a snow cake is a perfectly good shop in my opinion. We will crown Dry Drya here. If I were to guess where Drya comes from in Hollow Knight, I based off the design, I'm guessing it's probably has something to do with like the DLC that introduced the Path of Pain. God, I I haven't I've never done the Path of Pain because I haven't actually like dabbled in Hollow Knight's DLCs all that much. Well, I, at all really. Uh, but like Path of Pain in those games sounds like a fucking blast to me. Cause I'm big fan of the game Celeste, and it's basically just like it's basically like Celeste. All our units do have five turn counters, which is a little bit unfortunate. Means we're getting kind of busted on this first turn. Should I do something like this? Uh, it should be like this. Okay. We're not killing anything, unfortunately. I guess I can channel the nail. Eh, no, I'll redraw. Slide gets inked, but that doesn't really matter. I wouldn't mind Isma's tearing this mini Moko. Sure. Alright, our units get to do some cool stuff next turn. We're getting a lot of shell on our guys. Okay, let's let's ex let's analyze. I get to apply I basically get to remove. I do just get to remove the um Infernoko as a threat this fight. I don't really got much else better to do. 
Oh, uh, wait, I need to let, I need to let Cornet attack first. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. It is quite scary that you are phase shifting here. You definitely want to snow this gobbler. I'm probably not going to be able to get out, get out with much money this fight. We're not really under in danger, per se, but we are, we're in danger of being poor. The greatest danger of all. We're in danger of being broke. My greatest fear. We're in a Trampaz Dryer here. Ooh, and I get to play Junk. Wait, where did this Junk come from? Probably came from Infernoco, if I already guess, because I don't remember. Ah, damn it. Oh, I can't Ismus here, here to save it. Which, you know what? I think I will. Let's do that. Just get off all this good damage. This crazy... Okay, so... Infernoco is just dead. Like, just straight up. Just... Oh, wait, yeah, it's just unbelievably dead. You put Dryya here. Then if I... Unfortunately, I will really just... I will just really not be walking out with much money here. If you can... If we can find a way to, like get barrage on Dryya here, it's like, this, the rest of this run is lights out. Ooh, yo, it's way, it's, it's wayward compass. When the deck is reshuffled, place me on the top. It's fucking, what's the, what's the upgrade in Monster Train? I can't remember it. It's the one that, like, wait, after you play the card, it's like, it, it's put on top of your deck. That seems really strong for Paylor. We'll be taking the Curse Crown here. What were you? Oh yeah, you were Blessing Charm. I honestly quite like Blessing Charm on Dryya here. It is kind of scary to not give your leader this HP. But hopefully I'll be okay. Newland Sun Charm is a bit too much of a gamble for me. Although plus one redraw, plus one card draw is honestly really nice for this clan. Because you do have any form of card draw is nice because you want to be like, oh, maybe I should just take this. I don't know, this Compass Charm, I don't know if this is very good. Because it is only on reshuffles. I think I'm going to take Blessing Charm. And I hope I don't regret this. Uh, I will take the Path with the Charm on it. Mato. Ah, shit, it's fucking Watcher Knight. <laughs> when redraw is hit, split... When, when redraw bell is hit, split, deal additional damage for each copy of me and play Hive Mind. On Sacrifice, kill... All Watcher, on sacrifice, kill all Watcher Knights in the row. This sounds terrible. <laughs> this sounds awful. What does this do against... Alright, I'm going to be taking this. When deployed, deal... When deployed, gain one frenzy, deal two damage to self. Very strong unit. I don't see much wrong with clicking, it, clicking this unit. I don't think Millie Bell off the squad because I, which is probably wrong. Although I guess since we don't have much money right now, Millie Bell isn't the greatest smack. Punch Fist Charm is very appealing. God Tuner, very good card. Like, really good card, but can I afford it? I cannot. Unfortunate. Although, maybe I honestly shouldn't buy this crown here. Actually, I'm gonna back out to menu to think about this. Maybe I shouldn't buy this crown because... The reason I shouldn't is we already have a crown from... 
We already have a crown that we're getting from Princess Hornet here. So it might not be necessary. And I could take a like a really strong card in God Tuner. So what would I play with God Tuner in this run? I think I, I should just be trying to play Millie Bell in this run. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I just noticed the crown makes a little sound when you when you hover over it. Awesome. Hmm. God, playing Hollow Frost is so hard because like I'm making all these like decisions I'm unfamiliar with. Like I've I've it's literally that I'm learning an entirely new game. I think I can test it. I think we can try this theorem. We can, since we start with a crown, already started this run with a crown, you don't need to buy this crown. We're gonna try that, and I'm gonna pick up a charm and god tuner here. Gain shell on kill. I mean, if we just wanna, like, cruise through this mid-game, we give... We give all of our charms to Dryya. If we just wanna if we just wanna cruise, then I'm down for it. And then that could just let me play Millie Bell in the late game. Which isn't bad. Under slide's really good, but I'm gonna run into an issue of like space. Let's I'm playing Millie. I think we'll go for this. Let's give all of these charms to Dryya. Yeah. We do have Fragile, which is scary, but hopefully it should be okay. Would like to try to find some shell scaling besides Balder Shell here. Besides Balder Shell here. here. Balder Shell will not work into the late game. All right, I'm going to hold on to these. I think I will actually hold on to Shield Charm for now. Maybe I find a Chuckle Charm for Dryya, and then we can do like a cool setup from there. Yeah, okay. Dryya is gonna mess up this fight. And I should... Should I give God Tuner to, um... To Dryya here? We're... <laughs> God, the turn counters are so brutal. The high turn counter here is just so brutal. Alright, we're gonna... Max HP cannot be increased. Oh, okay, so... Wait, this is basically saying I can actually still heal... I'm thinking this is saying that I can still heal Dryah with Isma's Tear. I think that's what it's saying. Okay, then that's cool. Because I did never think about that Fragile is just specifically max HP. Which seems pretty damn good to me. I think I'll go for a Tram Pass here just to... Alright, I will play... I think I will play God's Tuner on... God Tuner on Dryya here. Unfortunately, this Jab Dote here is dealing a lot of damage, which is not fun. But I definitely should probably just let it hit me. Alright, it's a fucking... God, I, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, it's fine. It, it it's fine. It's okay. You're it, just just breathe. I'll let Sly take this too, and then we'll let Balder Shell go here. I only get two shell. What the fuck? That's shit. Alright, we'll do this. We'll do a gunk fruit on Dryya here. Do I just want to snow cake this gawk? Do 
Be like a nice five damage to it. Definitely don't want to let this thing hit me. I think I'll play... Vo what I think I'll do is I think I'm going to play Void Mask here. Yeah. I'll play Void Mask to take this hit. And then we're going to Snow Cake this gawk. Leader is... Now, I should... Am I killing every... I am killing everything on the... I am killing both of these units, thanks to God Tuner. This looks pretty good to me. So, boom. God, that, that damage is kind of... That damage is kind of nice. It is kind of good. Now, I am a bit nervous, because we did do... We were... We did do a smackback line last time. And it didn't really work out too well. Does this... Okay, so yeah, this unit is just going to hurt itself. Which is a little bit... Just a little bit sussy. Okay, Dryot is going to be doing enormous damage. Should just be killing... Uh, do I want to play the... Um, Mega Mimic here. I should. But unfortunately for me, the Goblin will get away. I do also have to be mindful of the of Muddenhead here. I do have I mean, honestly, I actually can. I actually am fine here because I can just like cleanse all my cleanse all my units. It'd be like good little six damage to Muddenhead here. Moto can Motto can take this hit. And the setup is looking... Oh, God. I'm so fucking... Oh, I hate this Void Mask card. <laughs> I like it a lot. I think it's a cool idea, but I hate it. After what it did to me last time, I hate it. It's, it's, it's a fucking bastard. This shit... This, this shit... This shit is not okay. I'm gonna check on my recording. Okay, we are... You are alive. You are recording. Your mic is working. Wait, why did I let this happen? Okay, wait, no, you're fine. Just, just try and pass. And, and I still would have survived the hit. I was safe to just go autopilot there. Two charms is pretty interesting. The bonkers shroom mine. Kind of, a, kind of a cute Pepper Reaper. I don't think it's all that good, though. So, I'm super down to just head to these charms here. Oh, wait. Toofy Shades could actually be a really tough fight. I do have a lot of HP on our main carry unit in Drya. But, yeah, this could be scary. And I feel like if I go... If I'm going here, I'm mainly just searching for Chuckle Charm. And I'm down to do it. I'm down to clown. Lumen ring. Uh. Okay. I don't think I have too much I can put that on. Oh, wait, no, I can put that on Sly. Ah, oh, and we got Newman Charm here. Oh, lovely. Okay, I like this. I can put this on Sly. Of course. Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> that seems pretty, pretty damn good. All right, we are going to Numlin this Paylor. I'm pretty confident in that choice. Super duper good. Oh, God. Okay, this is this fight. I wasn't too scared of. Now I'm scared. I'm scared because of this fucking nightmare grumble. This gr I won't dry it. Basically, just dry it could just be taking eight damage here, <laughs> which is not ideal. So I pretty much just have to redraw. I don't really have another choice here. I have to just redraw for Snowcake. And I will just be snow kicking this Gromble. This Gromble is big enough of a threat that I think this is 
warranted. God, but I'm just, like, not getting any value here. It's really sad. I think I want to go for a little bit of a Pale Ore play. And then... I want to, yeah, get this Mega Mimic out here. God, the fucking Void Mask is just such a nightmare. <laughs> Alright, at minimum I take 6 damage here. And hopefully... Alright, you're good. I did forget that the that guy was attacking three times. Okay, it's, it's not great. <laughs> uh, question. Can I die here? No, I cannot. If I let Princess attack first, Hornet Princess attack first, I at minimum take two damage here. This is correct. Should I play Gunk Fruit on? I really wish I had a God Tuner in this hand. We should just get like a mo motto out here. Oh, do I lose Sly? God damn it. Ugh. Ah, I, ah. Fucking pawpaws. Fucking pawpaws, man. What can you do? Fucking bastard ass pieces of shits. Alright, we. Damn, I was hoping. Okay, so you're dealing. Okay, we're good here. I don't really want to play any of these cards. <laughs> I want to save the old nail for next turn. And I don't want any of these yet. Wow. Actually, it's just like a, this is a really obnoxious hand. I guess I should just ping one of my own guys. Oh, wait, no, I should ping this goblin. Yeah, I should just ping this goblin because it's running away anyway. All right, I lose a Shade Soul here, but it's fine. All right, you, you ping the goblin here. So Moto takes, oh man, I wanted to redraw. Alright, this fight was a ba this fight is a bastard, but it's Maja, so it's always gonna be a bastard. But even then, we are walking out fairly un we are walking out fairly okay. I would like to Ismus hear this paw paw quite a quite a bit. And I think I will. And you know what? I think I might I think I might just down to go for a little Paylor play. So you're killing Maja here, then I get to old N What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> I like tabbed out so I tabbed out somehow without like my mouse being on the without like my hand being on the keyboard. <laughs> I just like drag it and release and somehow tabbed out. That was weird. It, it you know maybe I am recording. The game does. I guess the game agrees with my philosophy of always like paranoid, being paranoid. God. Oh wait, yeah, I don't have aimless anymore. That does. This does. This outcome does make sense. Okay, I do need my. I do need my paylor, please. Please and thank you. I don't worry about Papa because Dryad just gets the kill. And, well, <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get through with this. I think it's fucking... You know, did they, like, what, what happened? Why is, why is it that when I return to this game, Void Mass is suddenly, like, being this fucking Bane bastard of a card that I... Wish I didn't have to deal with. We'll let this gunk fruit get the kill. All right. Well, that fight was annoying. Annoying, and I hated it. It pissed me off at every turn. But we get out of it just fine.
So, do I want to maybe try finding a go to, going to this frozen traveler to finding a better unit to God? I feel I'm so biased against playing Millie Bell, Millie Belly this run. <laughs> I'm so biased. Uh, but a removal is just really good. I should just take the removal. I will probably just play Millie Bell next time. Reduce turn counter by one, reduce HP by two. Uh, I also quite like this coil mail. Yeah, because there is a lot of. Yeah, I'm definitely clicking this. This card is just better, is just slightly better. Yeah, okay, this coiled nail is super duper good. It, this is a great little counter to Frost Lancer, which is quite threatening to this build. So I'm very happy with that outcome. Vengeful Spirit. No, I don't think that's very good. Can I go like a Zoomland Wafers here? Maybe. Maybe I can. What are we fighting? We're fighting Krunker. I was really hoping we were fighting Truffle so I could make money for Millie Bell here. Uh, no, there's not really much. The main card that I'm redrawing for is Paylor, so there, so the new, which is already Newman, so there's not much use for Newman wafers in my mind. So I'll just take a charm here. Frog charm. It's it's okay on you, Motto. Motto's usually in his own lane. Okay. I am definitely going to be putting a Curse Crown on Lumen Vase into this late game. I think I will hold out on my... Unfortunately, I think this God Tuner I picked up isn't going to do too much in this run. But this Lumen Vase is going to be really good. Like, really, really damn, really, really damn good. Alright, hello, Mr. Kronker. We do, we have Snow Cake for this fight, although it is definitely still going to be a good bit of threat. Am I giving this to you, Sly, or am I giving it to Drya? It's technically the same. I think it's, the, like, the same no matter who you give it to. Let's see. If you get hit once, you're applying two. See, so you're attacking five. I'm pretty sure this is better if you give it to Sly. Especially if you get the God Tuner out here. It's just super duper good. What? What the? <laughs> what am I up to? What am I doing? I... Can I redo this here? Oh god, I'm not focused very well. I am, I am not focused. What am I... What is my gap up to? I'm gonna redraw here. <sighs> gonna actually fucking do it, man. <sighs> God, this fight was supposed to be... God, this setup was supposed to be easy. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm snowing the Grink. <laughs> This Void Mask is going to ruin this run. I think Void Mask just might be terrible with any unit that says Smackback. I'm starting to come to that conclusion. Mono is dealing a lot of damage here. So I am killing all of these units. I would like to redraw here for maybe a Snow card. But is that very likely that I hit? I could just hit, well, eh. I don't know, what should I do here? I think I'll instead play, like, Coiled Nail on the Spuncher here. And just call it a day. Drya, why are you taking so... Drya, why are you taking so long? Hurry up, Drya. Drya, hurry up. You don't have all day. Hurry up. I should get a Void Mask out here. For sure. I would kind of, eh, it's fine. 
Maybe I'm not getting that much. I would really like it. Okay. It would have been a lot better if you hit this unit here. So now I can just kind of freely redraw. Because then Void Mask won't fuck me up. I'm down to Scrappy Sword here. I wouldn't really... I wouldn't like the... To see if I could avoid phase shifting Krunker because it does like create a like a pretty scary s scenario where Krunker can like hit all my units and then like I I would have to lose Sly be because I would have to play Ismosphere on Hornet. I don't really think I want to take that chance. I would and then like that would be even worse with all the units that are still spawning here. So I think I just want to play this fight slower. And I'm fine with Mono. I'm probably going to recall Mono here because Mono is taking a lot of damage. But you're okay. Definitely want to get down Balder Shell here. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, mm. I redraw this hand for sure. This is okay. You get the all-important Paylor out here. Okay, so you're killing Grink. You will be face shifting Krunker here. So you just have to be mindful of that. Uh, what do I want to do here? Maybe just play another... I'll hail or the spike wall here, and I guess I'll just play a a channeled nail in this ice forge. All right, smackback comes in handy here. You kill the grink, and then Drya gets to go off. I don't know why Drya is taking like so many turns to do. It's taking so many turns. To... Oh, see, what did I? All right, it's it's. You know what? Uh, no, you're fine here. You're fine here thanks to dry as, thanks to dry as frost. Let's fucking go. Actually, no, I do. I actually just have lethal on this turn thanks to Mega Mimic. Yeah, let's just take that. I'll just take lethal here. I'm perfectly satisfied with that outcome. All right, goodbye. Oh no, Shade Soul. Shade Soul. Shade Soul did just like do it to him. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Balance charm is a really good charm. And honestly, I might end up playing balance charm on Hornet. It's minus three HP. Let, let me actually think about this. It's kind of good on, um... I think I should click Sun Charm here. I maybe just want to play Hornet as... I can just play Hornet as, like, my main damage dealer. Because we can... We got Sly plus... Unfortunately, I'm not getting too much value out of this God Tuner on Hornet. And I would have to Lumen Vase the God Tuner if I wanted to get value out of it, which isn't really feasible. But it could just be really good. And none of these other options are really are too appealing to me. So I think I will honestly just click Balance Charm here. This bell doesn't really do anything. Breakfast. I mean, I guess I could get a second Snow Cake, which is fine. Or a second Coil. Uh, maybe I do actually want to click that. Maybe I do want to click Breakfast Sun Bell here. Although... We lost last run because we tried to play too long against that fight and playing with not enough survivability. We tried to play long against Frost Brigade with not enough survivability, uh, not not enough sustain, and that is why we got disposed of last time. So I think I'm gonna click the option that that speeds us up in Balance Charm. Ooh, Inter Champion. Rum, get the fuck out of here. At, get the fuck out of here, Brum. Fuck you, Brum. <laughs> it was your goddamn... 
redrawing of the redraw bell that killed us last time. Get out of here. I don't want to see your damn face. I don't want to ever see your damn face around here, bro. Fucking bitch ass. So if I do this to... It is... Hornet... God, Hornet does do a ton of damage if I do Balance Charm and Sun Charm. It's three less turn counter. And honestly, the three less health, three versus six health is not that big of a difference into the late game. I think I will do this. I think I'm going to do this. Let's get this. It's time for the princess, the princess's crusade. So let's see this. I do still have another crown that I haven't really decided what I want to do with yet. So how... Uh, that's fine. I may, maybe I just want a Crown Void Mask, honestly. Crown Void Mask so I don't have... So it can't fuck me over. That would be pretty good. Do I just want to snow kick this crab? It is pretty damn threatening. Although I can just play Balder Shell on it. See, how much damage are you dealing here to the crabs? You're dealing not enough, unfortunately, to kill all of them. To, to kill both of them, even with the help of Channeled Nail. Wait, actually, do you? Or am I just wrong? I am. No, I am. I was correct. I should just... Okay, I was just checking. I should just... I should just no kick this crab here. Would have liked to use it on maybe something else, but it's fine. Let's get Void Mask in here. All right, now nah, I let Balder Shell take this, and then I'm gonna play the Void Mask. I guess I do have to get into that mindset when playing this plan. Just if you can, always play Shade Soul, or else you're just gonna like, or else you're just gonna be ruined. And man, I don't want to be ruined. I want to live a nice and long life. Doing two damage with each hit here. We could be doing better. I can't play. We can play Mega Mimic here for a lot of extra damage. Oh, it's not that much. What is this? Damn, I. You know, for some reason, it did just occur to me that the bleed, like, stacks exponentially. Wait. No, no, never mind. I thought I was... Never mind. I'm going to Ismus here, Burster here. It's a nice little bit of... Oh, I should have let Dryad take this hit from the Crawler. Although, uh... Yeah, okay, I am... Honestly, the Burster isn't too bad. Although, I think I will honestly Coil Nail it. I think that's fine. God, look at, look at all these things these side things that this burster has on it. That he has four different effects on it. Look at look at this here burster. Look at this fucking burster here. They think they're so damn special. So damn special you think you are, huh? Fucking get out of here. I will play this channel nail on Raya here. We are going to be taking a lot of punishment from from the from this crawler here and with okay i should yeah i should this is definitely a good turn for god tuner and i'm really happy that void void mask actually like doing us a great service here today and we didn't get too unlucky that turn okay so all the all in all it honestly looked pretty okay I do not need to worry about Numbskull because I have a ton of chump blocking in this run. The only thing you need to worry about is the Burster, which you don't even need to worry about that much because you have the aforementioned ton of block. Actually, yeah, I should let Dryad take this hit. Dryad can take it. Dryad can survive. And it seems okay to me. 
This is a... Yeah, and this also just does just... Oh my god. Wait. It's four, then it's... Okay, so the bleed... Does the wound stack exponentially with its effect? It's four, and then it's dealing eight. No, it, okay, it's, it's working. It works kind of like bomb then, which is really good. And you know what? I'm not playing Millie Bell this run. I stood out, and I don't think it's right. You do not... I want to just spend my money here. All right. Uh, I mean, if this Chuckle Charm is not, doesn't really change anything. Tango Charm, Womp Womp. All right, I should have just given this. I should have just given this shell charm to Drya earlier. Yeah, not too much I can do with this. So an, a muncher is good. Oh wait, yeah, I remember what I wanted to crown. <laughs> I fucking remember. You crowned void. You crowned the void mask, of course. <laughs> Actually, I should have. Why did I not put Lumen Vase on the Void Mask? That was really dumb of me. That would have been a lot better. Hello. That would have been way better. Just because, like, Numen. Num oh, wait. Oh, shit. I did forget we were fighting these guys. So. <laughs> Willow, I don't think you chose a very good spot to spawn. Eat and absorb the ally in front of me. <gasps> what ally, may I, might I ask? <laughs> Ugh, God, the brown with the explode is a huge dan- is a fucking huge threat to this run. That's gonna be really hard to just not die. And then with the goji burr- Okay, I definitely think I'm gonna be snow kicking this goji burr. Oh, sh fucking no eyes is like suit omega inking my guys. That's not good. All in all, this looks like a bit of a nightmare. So I like, think I'm gonna end up just trying, maybe sacrificing Mato to... What do I have to be afraid of on this board? You're killing Willow immediately, which is pretty good. God, this ugh, this does just generally look kind of terrible. Ugh, okay. They do a lot of damage to Willow here. I do have, like, some use in... I don't have a ton of use for Coiled Nail this combat. Anything I want to do with this opening hand. Okay, I definitely should... Pale or something. Pale Oring Brum is probably good because I'm gonna be using a Snow Cake on Goji Bear anyway, so I don't really have much. Although maybe should have done it to No Eyes. Yeah, that would have probably been better. Uh. Hmm. I'm probably not going to be killing Brum next turn. Uh... Let me play, Okay, hold up. Let me think about this. What if you did something like Mega Mimic Trampass Shade Soul? No. That's dumb. Because that would just get Sly killed. I'm probably just gonna redraw this hand. Okay. So you do have the snow cake here. The snow cake to deal with Goji Burr. Really wish I had some form of ink this this run. Okay. Let's dispose of Goji Burr. Goji Bear as a threat this combat. Although, uh, wait, actually, was I supposed to play? I was suppo supposed to play, um. I did. I was supposed to play the, um. What do I do? Do I actually redraw again to maybe hit Paylor again? 
Because the No Eyes is going to fucking rip me up next turn. God, this unit is fucking nasty. And with the Aimless... God, this is... This is a nightmare fight. Oh, I do have Balder's Shell that can sit in. What if it's... Actually, weirdly, what if it, um, hmm. I can deal five, I can deal five damage to, okay, what's the, I'm drawing, I am going to bottom deck a card. Which is terrifying. If I bottom deck a card, I can hopefully just get out of it by... Okay, I am going to redraw here. You do hit Pale Ore, which is huge. You're able to deal a good 10 damage to Brum there. And I will... Okay, then you are able to get the kill on Brum. Then next turn, you can... I can recall Mato to get hit so that I can let Mega Mimic take okay. You're you're safe. I think you found we have found the line. Do not let Hornet do not let Hornet die though. Just bad play. Although can we redraw here actually? Am I like what risk am I taking? Uh, I'm taking a I feel like I'm taking two I I will I will channel. I should. Redrawing here runs the risk of you not having something that can j take take no eyes hit here. Okay, yeah. you should just let this go through. Alright. Mato survives at one. Huge. Very huge. Thankfully, the... Okay, thankfully, the one frenzy does not ruin me. Because... Like, Mega Mimic does have exactly three. Is working with exactly enough eight. Oh, God. Okay, I. Plum should not be too scary here. Okay, you just play Mega Mimic. Alright, let's deal with this here. So you're killing that guy. You're killing that guy, too. The Gobbler is quite the threat. You're moving up Dryah. Dryah will just be able to kill the plum, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, will just be able to kill the plum. You're dealing a lot of damage to no eyes here. I can play Void Mask. Which is probably a good idea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. God, this fight is a... This fight's definitely a, th a sweater. <laughs> sure. This fight is a sweater. Now, am I fine with letting Dryad just kill the Gobbler here in exchange for 6 HP? I get to keep a Shade Soul on the board, which is pretty good. And I think I do like that quite a bit. And I should just... I mean, I guess I can just deal a little bit of extra damage to No Eyes here. Actually, that, did, that extra 3 damage does mean Hornet does get lethal here, which is pretty good. Now, do I want to call in the enemies here? I... Like, I do, I think. I think I do. Uh, we'll move Hornet down for this, actually. So Hornet can deal some damage to the enemies that are coming in. We've got two Shade Souls. We got... A pretty Princess Hornet here. We got good HP on Dryah. You are immediate... Alright, well, unfortunately, I'm not killing the Uba Bear here, but you're getting a good amount of smackback value this turn. And I think I do just want to try killing the... Getting the redraw kill, the old nail kill on the... Uh, well, mm, do I want to? I don't think it's... I should do this. So, Dryah can attack safely next turn. I wish there was a way I could get smack back value this turn, but it doesn't seem like there is. I will Pale or the Porcupine. Oh, uh, wait, act. I should do it like this. Yeah. 
Yes. And I'll put Sly in the front. So you're dealing 10 to this. You're killing this Winter Worm. You're killing... Well, you're not killing the Grink, unfortunately. Wait, uh... No, you're not killing the Grink. If I had God Tuner in this hand, I could kill the Grink. But I can set it for a redraw kill on the other Grink here. Oh, I should not let... I shouldn't let Dryad take this this six, though. That's probably not safe. Ooh, all right. Been making... Wait, why did I get lethal there? Why did Dryad kill there? Am I missing something? Am I... I think I'm missing something. All right. It, it, does, it doesn't matter. I probably, like, misunderstood how wound works. I just... You can correct me in the comments. <laughs> Go ahead. Correct me in the comments. See if I care. Oh, wait. Don't you just die? Oh, you do just die. <laughs> oh, wait. That was kind of a... That's that kind of cute little synergy. He reduced his eight own HP and then died to the wound. That was kind of fun. You're definitely taking this. Am I... I mean, I guess I can take the plus two damage. There's no real reason not to. I have no more charms for... I have no more charms for Sunbell of Fellowship. Absolutely no other charm in my build. I'm likely never recalling a unit here, so... It's... It will just go with what we have. Maybe I do. Maybe we do this as... Oh, wait. I can't... I mean, I can still do this, but... So you do have the immediate... I should... We should be fine here. You do have good counters for this fight. Oh, that Frost Bomber is pretty bad, though. Oh, and I need to remember to take my screenshots here. So I'll put... You absolutely put Dry in the front. You Lumen... Sly here. Then you put Moat Motto and this guy in the bottom lane. So I could immediately God Tuner Dryah here. And it would just be a, a very quick kill on. I don't think I actually want a quick kill Frost Junker. It doesn't seem that valuable. So I might actually go for the little bit of extra damage over time. The slightly more damage. The five extra damage of playing God Tuner on. Because I. Honestly, want to let this? I might honestly just redraw this hand. I think I will. Redraw to get your importing. Yeah, okay, definitely a redraw there. Redraw, redraw angle is very good. Because now I get the snow frost crush. I get the snow cake frost crusher. And damn, am I? Wow, this dryad unit is actually like insane. <laughs> This dry unit, moi. Be, me big like. I should be. All right. I don't see a world where I'm. I was trying to think of like maybe there's a case that I do, I don't play coiled I play coiled nail on frost bomber here. But no, I don't think there. I think that's foolish. Oh, I need to take my screenshots here. I do need to remember to do that. I think saying that you can't. Because this Frost Bomber is scary, but this Frost Lancer is scarier. So you definitely just want to rid yourself of the Frost Lancer. Mato is fine. I will let Dryah get hit by the Frost Jailer, because I think it's okay. And I will play Trampass here, maybe? Trampass is pretty good. Yeah, I'll Trampass here. I was, I was hoping that it would... Uh, I guess I can play it on... Mato will be going down here, but that's okay. What like something to ping Dryas so she's dealing a little bit more, a little bit of extra damage? I could just go for God Tuner now. I could, and I don't really have anything to ping, so I should just go for God Tuner. This is good extra damage. Oh God, having one haze on. Oh wait, aren't wait? Don't I have lethal on this turn though? Yeah, I guess it didn't really. I guess the haze on Frost Lancer didn't actually matter that much because I mean it's still good. I'm still happy. We do I we do get the dub here. Fucking 
Everybody celebrate. Actually, can I save Motto here? I can. Uh, you know what? We'll save Motto. Why not? Because we got Balder Shell here. I don't see why. We can get... We... So, honestly, maybe I should have... Oh. Uh... Okay. <laughs> if you want to do it like that, you can. You know what? Fuck... Fuck this Frost Bomb. Oh, wait. No, you can't do that because you don't have Slice Frenzy. Never mind. <laughs> it was going to take us a little bit to get the kill here, but that's fine. Uh... I guess just Tram Pass here. Keep Tram... Tram Passing Dryya here. This was... This was a good one. This Slide Unit... Slide Unit's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I will also take it. This unit? I mean, this unit does just show, like, why... Why they nerfed previous... Why they nerfed, like, they had to nerf Chrono. This card does just show why. Because Chrono is just absurdly busted. And this unit is just Chrono. Is just old Chrono. This is a history... This is a history lesson for you all on... On the broken the insane brokenness of old chrono go for the hit there on frost lancer and this frost bomber is so annoying god damn dry is insane Yuna is nutty smack back with smack back with all this frenzy is not okay it's just not. Got a little bit of shell there. I will... Yeah, I can let Dryya take this hit. I do not want to lose... I will not let you kill my Void Mask, though. I will not allow this. So, yeah, this Frost Muncher is not the one with Barrage. Although, if it, the Frost Muncher did have Barrage, it actually just could not kill me. So, I... Just, just kill the Frost Muncher. Let's just get this idiot out of here. Cool to have a little bleed build. To have a bleed... A, a run with the new keyword, the new effect in this update being wound. It's cool to see. All right, Frost Bomber, get out of my, get out of my house. You are not welcome here. If my units, if, you know, if you flip the turn order there and said that like my units attacked for, oh wait, no, no never, I would have just killed Frost Bomber. But like, let's say my unit Hornet and Dryya were not attacking that turn and it was just Mega Mimic and the Shade Soul. I would have actually died there if my units attacked first. It, it's not, it's not like a super like, whatever thing to notice, but it, you know, I just, somebody who's like, you know, pretty into this game, I think it's like a little bit, I think it's a little interesting. Alright, good job. This unit, this Hornet Princess unit does look pretty good. Just one extra crown it, in exchange for a weaker leader is pretty good. And the the Fragile really doesn't matter because this clan has like one card that heal. Just, the only, it's only like Ismus here in this clan that like heals. And you're giving up that option for it to heal is perfectly fine. Because like the thing about it is it's not like Ismus here is becoming a dead card in your build. You can still heal your other units, and more importantly, you can still, like, cleanse them and poison the enemies. So, it's like... Is, is, what take of the way is that I think Ismus here is... One takeaway is that I, I think Ismus here is a very good starting card. I like it a lot. That was cool. Anyway, that's good for this episode of Hollow Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And all of you out there, have a nice day.